welcome back to Harmon Homestead. We're outside today. It's already 90 degrees and we're shucking corn. We picked our corn this morning. It all wasn't ready, surprisingly enough. I think the heat just stunted it, but I'm at ear 54 and we got a whole picnic table full to go. So if you're new to corn, this is peaches and cream sweet corn. You want the silk, this right here, to be just burnt looking, like someone has just burned it up, okay? That's what you want. This will fall away from the stalk, but mainly look at that silk, okay? And you'll notice they'll fill out. They'll be pretty big, okay? And surprisingly enough, some of my salt, smallest stalks had ears this big, so I was happy. All right, to shuck this corn, you're gonna pull it off the stalk, okay? Then you want to work quick, really quick, because this is so sweet, and it will look, start to break down sugar the longer it's outside in the heat, okay? so. Take your corn right here, pull it in half. Now I'm gonna show you something. Pull it like that, okay? Back that way. That's more of your silk in here. That's what all that is. That's why you really need to do this outside. It's nasty, okay? Take your handle back here where you pulled it off the stalk, hold it and pull your corn cob out, just like that. Now, why does this beautiful ear have that at the end. That's from corn earworms. Guys, I have pulled one out of now 55 that has not had one. If you plant corn, it's, you're going to have it, okay? You're going to have corn earworms. That's, I'm sorry. That's the way it is, unless you spray. So, we don't spray ours. It is what it is. We just go with it. And what we do... Like I've got my cutting board here, we chop off the ends. That's just what we do. Now, that's this whole method is for pulling sweet corn to eat. This is not for um, dent corn, for dry corn that like your animals would eat. But I'm doing this out here with the chickens because they love these pieces. Now, to get those silks off, do what I just did. Do your hands back and forth like this. Now, of course, we're going to take this inside and wash it. But this will help kind of clear it out. Just roll back and forth with that cob, okay? The end... You can, you can bear down like this. It's hard. And you can see I've got a, a huge, thick knife. There's a little bit right there. Another worm. Just throw it to your chickens. Or you can take it and you can just whack it down, but be very careful, okay? So we're going to take it, pull. There's one right there. See that? Just flick him off to the chickens. Guys, they're going to eat part of your cobs that's just how it is but we, again we don't spray and we had a time this year with weeds in our garden in the pasture garden so we just let it all go I have seen too many people this year talk about neem oil and bt and everything else burning up their corn plants spraying it for corn earworms so that's just a personal preference I mean they're going to be in every ear just take them flick them and keep going okay because usually it's just the very tip right there. The very tip. Your whole cob is okay. See that? When I first started this, I saw people were using um, all sorts of appliances and everything else to get this corn. Guys, it don't have to be that hard. Take your hands. Go like that. Okay. See those silks dropping? I've taken a scrub brush to it. It damaged the kernels. Look at that. That's what you want, okay? I just take it and flick it. You can't even see that there's been corn out here, y'all. These chickens are eating it up so quick. But if you see that, that's where a corn worm has gotten a hold of it. See all those? Take your hands, twist it. Just like that. Chop. Done. On to the next one. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's number 59. This is 60. Now, how do we do our corn? What I like to do is freeze this corn, okay? So what you need to do is clean your corn, wash it in the sink, and then I drop it in boiling water for three minutes. Get it out with a pair of... Um, Kitchen tongs, put it in an ice bath. Let it sit for a couple minutes and then put it straight in freezer bags in the freezer. Let's see these. And really that, he could have stood a little bit more. Let's see that one. Take it, pull it. A lot of people don't know what to do and that's why I'm doing this video. 
and corn is finicky. It's the hardest crop I've ever grown if you're not um, able to water it. It's hard. It depends on the weather. It's just one of those things. So, but it's so worth it, y'all. Now this year, I think it costs 30 something dollars for us to plant corn for two pounds of seed. Or maybe that was, I think it was two pounds. It had went up 61, but again, it's worth it. Okay, perfect. Just what I wanted to show you. Now, why does this cob look like this? That's just your cob. It wasn't pollinated. See that? That was not pollinated if you don't have kernels right there. It was not pollinated. Sometimes that happens. I've ran up on, I think, three this morning. Usually, they'll just be like half of it not pollinated. The rest of it will be. Now, if you've got cattle, they love these shucks. Chickens won't fool with them, but cattle will. I don't know about hogs. I would think they would. I don't know. Just like that. Now, the bottom, I never cut, guys. I never, ever cut. Look at that. Take it. Pull down. It's hard. Like, it's hard to do this. If you've got huge ears... It's, I mean, it takes some strength, buddy. Whew. A lot of people like silver queen corn, but we like peaches and cream. Bicolored. And what they mean by that, see how you've got like a yellow and a, and a pale cream. Yellow pale cream is bi two colored two colors on this cob silver queens all this color and i'm going to tell you it looks like the um the unpollinated cob i like this it's got a corn flavor to it now you could leave him on or you could pull him off i usually try to pull it off it makes no difference though this is messy. Corn holds a lot of moisture. So you really need to do this outside. And again, we're gonna wash all this. We're just trying to get it prepared to go in the sink. Let me show you this. A lot of people say dig your nail into it, into the corn to see if it's ready. They'll say milk comes out. See that? I don't know if my camera's focusing. It's just like a, a white liquid. That means he's ready. He's ready. That's so full of sugar and starch. That's what you want. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dig your nail into it. But mainly if those silks are turned, you're good.